I'll never sing again. Um, we're going to do Loth now. Uh, uh, we're halfway through uh, part design using part studios. Uh, awesome job so far. Hopefully you're able to follow along. Um, now we're going to work on Loft. Um, and I'm going to keep all of the planes on uh, to start. Uh, and we are going to create a sketch. We'll get right into it on the top plane. That's our step one. And um, if we hop on in there, look at it from the top view. Um, they ask us to make uh, a rectangle, center point rectangle, starting from the origin. And then we need to make two arcs, one that's going to go up here on the top, one that's going to go on the bottom. So I'm just going to use our three-point arc tool. You can also hit A, remember that. And I'm just going to make this one hop up there. And boom, a boom, a boom. Got one down there. That looks good. Maybe not as perfect as they have it, but it'll do the job. Um, what we're going to do now, we're going to use some constraints. So we're going to set this arc up here equal to this arc down here. Solid. Second thing we're going to do is we're actually going to um, make two construction lines. So uh, what we should be doing is selecting these two lines right here, and we can flip them into construction lines. Um, once we have that, we need to actually uh, round these corners right here. So we have this like vertical line that's sharply intersecting with our arc. Um, we're going to do a thing called fillet, um, which is this tool right up here, Shift F. That's the, actually one of a few tools that you have to hit Shift for. And um, the way it works is we should just be able to click on these two lines and then continue to kind of make our way around. Um, and hopefully, uh, actually, no, let's just do one at a time. Um, we'll be able to um, get it to go. So if we hit enter, um, it's telling me here that it needs to be 8.5. Uh, now we should be able to continue on around and uh, get it good to go. So click there, there, hit enter, click there, there, hit enter. A little rusty on this tool. So um, you, you rarely use this, as I would say, in the future, but sometimes you might want it. Typically, uh, filleting stuff or fillet, some people call it fillet, fillet um, is something you do after you have a solid. But in this uh, tutorial, we're doing it in the beginning. So uh, we made those arcs equal. We did our sweet, sweet fillet. Now we have to throw some dimensions on this thing. So uh, I'm going to hit escape because I don't need to use the fillet tool anymore. I'm going to hit D. And what we're going to do is tell it the distance between this point and this point is 100. After we tell it that, we're going to say, hey, the distance vertically between this point and this point is 40. Now let's see what happens when that loads up. The last thing we got to do is tell it that this radius is 200. So we got a couple radiuses. We got this radius, which you may have in the top right, as it says in the uh, tutorial, I have it in the top left because I started there. Um, we have this radius down here, um, and then we have these two dimensions. That is our step four, and this is um, our first profile. They call it the bottom profile. So if I hit the little pencil there, we can say bottom profile. Now, thinking about profiles similar to sweep loft, you can actually create um, 3D solids out of multiple profiles. So we've only just created one profile. Our first one of two or three, potentially. Second thing we're going to do, we're going to make a new plane. This is the first time we've done it. I'm going to turn off the front and the right planes. And uh, we're actually going to use um, our top plane as a reference point to create a new plane. Now, you don't need to be in any sort of tool. We're not in a tool. We're not in a sketch right now. I'm going to click on the plane tool. And it's asking me for an entity. That entity is our top plane. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a top plane at an offset of 50 millimeters. So we have a second plane that we're creating. And it's at a distance of 50 millimeters from the top plane. We can hit check. And I'm actually going to turn off our, our top plane. because it, it may get confusing. We don't need it. 
Now I just have this plane that we just created. Pretty sweet, huh? Step six is to create a sketch on this plane. So let's hop into our top view and we're gonna create a sketch on plane one. Um, and I believe they even call this plane, if we were to rename it, um, the middle profile plane. So hop back into sketch one and I guess we can call this middle profile. And we can start drawing something here. So I am going to create an ellipse. That's what it's asking for. So go under our circle tools or drawing tools. We're gonna to create an ellipse and we're gonna start from our center point here. We're gonna make it coincident to the center point. We are going to make this outer point here horizontally constrained with the origin. And that's all we have to do to start. That's step six. Step seven is throwing some dimensions on it. So uh, in order to do that, uh, we can hit escape, hit D, and then we can create a horizontal dimension. This is 80, according to them. And then we can just click and drag out. And I'm just moving my cursor. I'm not even pressing down on it. Click again, this guy here, 45. So that's step seven. That is our middle profile. So now we have two profiles that we can use. I'm gonna turn off uh, the middle profile plane because again, it'll get a little bit confusing and we're gonna create a third plane. So we have our top plane, this middle profile plane. Now we're gonna create a top profile plane. So again, hitting the plane tool, I can click on top plane here as a reference. So I don't actually need to click it here, but I can click it up here in my features menu. Uh, and our offset distance for this is going to be 125 millimeters. So let's just hop into isometric to see that zoomed out. We can name this top plane. And now we can create a sketch on it. And this brings us to step nine, in which we're just going to create a circle. Center point circle, coincident with our origin. I'm going to hit enter so I get that dimension because that dimension should be 40. And now we should be able to hit loft. So we're going to call this top profile. I'm going to hit the check. I can turn off top plane, go back to isometric view. And now we have three distinct profiles we can work with for a loft. Um, we're almost there. Step 11. So we can hit loft right here. And it says, hey, what profiles do you want to use? Now, uh, you can just click bottom profile, middle profile, top profile. Boom, boom, boom. And you have your good old loft. Now, we can check this. We can go into renaming this part. They're saying this is a bottle of some sort. So we can name it bottle. And then for the material this time to make sure we can do that self check, um, we wanna do high density polyethylene. So HDPE, a plastic, and then we can hit the check. And now you can go about selecting your part and then heading on down to mass properties and doing that self check in the tutorials. Um, congrats, we're halfway there. I would say the next one's a little bit more complex, coffee cup, um, we're gonna be using um, pretty much all these tools uh, to create a coffee cup. Um, so hang tight. We'll get through it together. Let me know if you have any questions or you run into any problems with the bottle. Um, and I'll see you in a moment. All righty. Take care.